Welcome everyone to Java at the Command Prompt. In this tutorial, we will compile and run a Java application using the Windows Command Prompt. It's also perfectly acceptable in this class to use an ID such as jcreator. Okay, so the first step, open the Command Prompt. Do this by clicking on the Windows Start menu, then All Programs, Accessories, and then select Command Prompt. And once we have the Command Prompt open, let's, let's first take a look to make sure that we have the Java software development kit installed properly. So first I'm going to type Java space dash version <clears throat> and it shows your output should show some, something similar to this so the first line we see Java and the version number. Next type Java C space dash version. This shows us that we actually have the compiler installed. If the first one worked and the second one didn't, it would mean that we have just the Java runtime environment installed. So we'll need to make sure that both of these uh, version commands work. Okay, now that we know that Java is installed properly, we'll need to be able to move uh, to navigate directories using the command prompt. So let's take a, take a look at a couple commands that will help us navigate the folders on our computer. First of all, we can change drives. So I'm currently on the C drive. Unfortunately, my computer only has one drive. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate it using the same drive. Uh, in your case, maybe if you're using a flash drive, you'd want to see what drive the flash drive is actually installed as. Typically, it's like the H drive. So you would type H colon enter, and it would actually switch the drive, which we can see here in the, in the current working directory. It would change this to an H. Okay, the next command we want to be able to use is the change directory command. So you can see the current working directory is currently set to c colon backslash code backslash it1050. So the first change directory command, cd space backslash, will move us to the root of c. So you can see we went directly to the root of c. The second command is the ability to move into a child directory. So we want to move from c into c code. So we'll type cd space and then code. You can see it changed the working directory to c colon backslash code. Another version of, C, of the change directory command is cd space dot dot. This moves us up one level. So we would go from C code to C. We can also type cd and then a, the full path to the directory that we want to go to. So instead of typing cd code, enter, and then cd it1050, we can type C, cd space code backslash it1050 and go directly to it1050. The final command we want to learn is uh, the ability to list directory contents. So type dir enter and we'll see that it lists all of the files and folders within the current working directory that we're at. So here we see in the c colon backslash code backslash it1050 directory on my computer, there's a file main application .java. So on your computer, make sure you can get to uh, the current working directory that uh, where your .java file resides. And if you need more help with the CD command, you can type CD space forward slash question mark. It'll list off a menu, a help menu that you can read through to, to get additional help on the CD command. Okay, so now that we're in the, the right current working directory where the main application.java file exists, <clears throat> we can compile our, our Java program. So to compile, we want to use the Java C tool or the Java Programming Language Compiler to compile our Java program into what's called a, a bytecode class file. And this bytecode class file is then something that can be executed using the Java runtime. So to Java C space main application dot Java and hit enter. And if there are any error messages uh, similar to what we saw in class with jcreator, this is where you would see those error messages. Since there are no error messages, I know that the program should have compiled properly. So I can type dir. And yes, it did. Now we can see the dot class file. So that is our Java bytecode class file. <clears throat> so finally, we can run our application using the Java application launcher. To do that, we type Java space and then the name of our class, leaving off the dot class extension. So notice I'm typing in main application but there's no dot class file extension at the end. So Java space main application and hit enter and it runs our program. 
So this is a simple application that adds two numbers and displays the string value colon space and then the value of our integer variable. So this concludes our lesson, Java at the command prompt. There are a number of issues that you can run into, uh, most likely probably being an installation problem. If you do run into a problem, let me know right away and I'll help you through it. Thanks.